Uh, very first thing is to thank our crowd for giving us a second chance. Um, you know, we let a, we, I thought Thursday night we had every opportunity to give people to stay home on a beautiful afternoon day up here, and instead 4,020 of them showed up, and we needed them. And that, that spawned, I think, a run and uh, an energy that we hadn't had in a while, and we really needed that to bounce back against a Florida team who has, competed, I think, played the hardest schedule in the SEC so far, all five teams – all five of their losses are the teams that were currently ranked when they played them. Um, and I thought we got off to a great start. Not so good in the middle. Finished strong. Go back to that first and you put IT in. And, yep. and she sparked you guys with defense that led to offense on the other end. And that just completely changed everything. And the word today was contagious. We had made a bunch of half-court shots in, in uh, pregame today. We made eight. And that's a lot. We got contagious. So that word kind of spread over. And I thought IT was the one that got it started. Then I thought it spread to everybody. Then it it rolled over to Mac when they wouldn't guard her. Um, and it spread throughout our team. And I thought it spread throughout our crowd too. But she was certainly uh, the spark um, uh, that got it going in that first media time out of the first quarter. Uh, uh, the Florida coach mentioned uh, concentrating on the big three yeah. and the others. You know, sometimes you have to pick your poison. But uh, yep. Dan Daniels to start the, third, the uh, fourth quarter Pretty, pretty huge run, like a 10-2 run on her own. Just talked about her going back to her high school days when she was the dominant scorer. She was 47 as a, as a sophomore in a state championship game. So we tried to plant that image in her head that if they were going to guard her with a post player, which they were, and I think it's a brilliant strategy, they are going to take Chelsea away, not come off an Amber and Lex in the corners. And, you know, the scouting report's out on us now. Georgia, Georgia exposed us a little bit. So uh, I, I thought it was great that – uh, the other non-big three, uh, and I think that's a fair thing. I, I, you can't throw the word, word triplet around very often around here, I know, uh, because of our history. But those three, they, that was certainly their game plan. I thought our three did a good job of finding their things. That may be the most minutes they've played combined in a conference game. You'd have to go back and check. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out on a limb and say, if you look at Chelsea, Amber, and Lex, that would be their most combined minutes played in a conference game. And probably their lowest scoring output. But their impact and their defense and what they were doing, giving those others confidence, gives us as a coaching staff a lot of hope, I think, that, that we figured out a way when teams want to take them away that we can still try to find a way to win. I guess since we need a Hubble telescope to see what's going on, just what happened on the technical? Uh, on advice from my counsel, I'm going to not answer that question. No, it was, I deserved it. Absolutely deserved it. I saw Cal last week. I didn't get as much publicity as Dave Van Horn got for waving bye to him, but I was—I promise you, we were just as fired up. Um, and I'm not telling you that any of us ever do anything strategically, but sometimes you do. And I'm not saying ours was a 15-0 run, but I thought it got our kids' attention. Uh, and I think it's just important for our kids to know that we are as engaged as they are from time to time. I obviously don't want to do it in a situation where I think that it could cost us a game, and I don't. I think at that point in time, it, it probably fired us up. What about Thomas's game overall. Um, Taylor's been in a really unique spot where she's gone from us counting on her for 40 minutes a night, and then not knowing what we had in Aaron when Kier was hurt. To now, all three of those kids are healthy, and it's a little bit of look over your shoulder, and that's human nature. And it is incredibly hard to do. She's handled it with so much class, so much poise, uh, and she just has kept her head down, and she's just kept doing everything we ask her to do. And, again, part of the film is we don't tend to hit our rollers very often and effectively. Uh, we worked on that extensively, and we got better at it, and she was the recipient of a couple of those. But I, I thought, more importantly, just the way that she's managed – a really hard thing for any kid, much less in the 20s, 2020s. But she's handled it really, really well. And um, we certainly needed every single rebound end point. The job you guys did of kicking it out today instead yeah. of kicking it in. I know that was a big focus, a big frustration with you last game. It was. And all it took was about 20 film clips for them. You know how you get in the film room and you show the clip and it starts and you hear this groan in the back like, uh-oh, this is me. They knew. I mean, it, and it was – we knew it was happening. We talked about it. We just couldn't stop it. It was like this barrage of things. Um, 
But it was good that we worked on something in practice and carried it over to the game. But it made all the difference in the world. We, you know, we got the quick charge, but after that, other than that, we pretty much were able to move the ball around the perimeter and get shots, open shots that we were used to making. Michaela and IT talked about uh, mindset kind of started back in shoot around the last couple of days. Can, yeah. you, can you speak to that a little bit? She's one of those kids who have every reason in the world to say I'm hitting the wall. This is the most practice, the most games, all that stuff. But she fought through it. She was here early. She's gotten those extra shots back in there. And, and that's, that's a confidence thing. And we can have all the confidence in the world in a kid and in what we're asking them to do, but they've got to feel that. And I think she started to feel that a little bit. She got back down there with Chelsea and Amber. They all kind of did it collectively. And that was what we had going early in the year. And, I, you know, we all sat back and looked at it. We all got – past the line of confident and swagger over to a little cocky. And, and I probably am just as guilty of it as they were. And whatever we did as coaches and I did, I think it filtered over them. And we crossed that line. We went to Vanderbilt, and it felt like when we got to Vanderbilt that Vanderbilt thought they were going to beat us. We just, the, the feeling in the gym was like – and we, set, we sensed it. Well, we turned around and did that exact same thing to Georgia, and they made us pay for it. So I think it's lesson learned – uh, and I'm glad that, you know, Michaela, Taylor, all those kids, and then the job that the Amber, Alexis, and Chelsea do on a night when the other team wants to take them away. And I thought Aaron's minutes were good again, and IT's, of course, minutes we've already talked about. And IT talked about how he's really helped the women's game as well. You know, the last five years, he's probably been one of the leading uh, professional sports athletes to recognize the importance of women's sports. I know that there's a lot of things that – People will say about him and his past, but I'm so glad we don't all get judged on certain number of acts and they can remember you for what you've done recently. Nobody in the NBA has done more than what he has, had done. Our kids was, were equally as taken back when they learned that his daughter was in the, fl in the flight too. That hit them hard because they've seen her at events and he's been to the EYBL deals. It'll be one of those days they all remember, like, we were getting ready to play Florida when we heard. Uh, Cam Newbauer told me I was going out to the floor, and he was sitting over there, and he goes, have you seen Twitter? And I said, uh, I didn't know. And it's amazing how well, we find out immediate news like we do now. Michael Jackson, I found about Michael Jackson on Twitter and now Kobe. But um, I think there will be a lot of mixed emotions and feelings. It will be interesting to talk to our kids because he's kind of the one this generation has grown up as the, the icon, the debate of him to Jordan. You know, for me, it was Jordan to Julius Irving. For them, it was Kobe to, to, to Jordan. So I haven't really got a chance to talk to any of the kids other than Amber just briefly and Lex. Uh, but I'll tell you this, it, it affected them. It affected them. And I wish, you know, again, you can't hide kids from anything these days. So I'm, I'm proud that they were able to compartmentalize that. And uh, we'll deal with it the next couple of days.